guys what's up you guys welcome back to exploring with india today you guys will be the finale the last episode to season one euphoria you guys um it has been a journey we have been on a journey of these teenagers finding themselves revealing themselves um exploring more going through struggles going through life it's been hectic it's been hectic so like i said um, after every season we will do a um, review so probably after this video I will do a review of the whole season one recap of the whole season one you guys in my through my eyes through your homegirl's eyes and how I felt about the whole season we're just gonna get into that afterwards you guys so euphoria season one episode eight cannot wait for season two to drop so far Jules left to get a break from you know Nate, the hatred town. Nate and Maddie still going through it. He's being aggressive to her. She done found out the phone where she's saying, you know, men parts. And it wasn't his men parts. So now she know she more suspicious about that. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. And of course, you guys let me know how you guys feel about Euphoria episode eight. Let's go. I want to stay clean. So, um, thank you. I'm really proud of you, Mom. You've come a long way. Just take your time. Yes. You're delicate. Every time I feel good, I think it'll last forever. These states will wax and wane. I think I need your help. In bad times, there would be good times. Also, in the good times, you're fucking dead to me. There would be bad times. You look different. I miss the old cat. Leave Wu and her friends alone. What threat? I guess it's true. Life is always this way. It's okay, baby. It's okay. One of the benefits of showing up at the hospital in the middle of the night with a kidney infection is that the first thing they do... Take this with a full cup of water. ...is give you something to bring down your fever and subdue the agonizing pain you're in. I am... Um, I got my wisdom teeth taken up like a year ago, and they gave me Vicodin. It, it just wasn't... It wasn't good for me. It really... Yeah. I think I'll just go with plain Tylenol. Are you sure? Kidney no infections are extremely painful. I'm sure. It appears that you have some pretty extreme substance abuse issues, so I think you're right. We should just stick with Tylenol. She made it. <laughs> okay, yeah, you know, if I ever come back here with cancer, I really hope you're not Cancer, though, to a kidney infection. They give to people that are excited, and if anything bad happens, there's always a doctor nearby. Thank you. Yeah, she enjoys us too much. <laughs> then at nighttime, when everyone's asleep, I close my eyes and imagine all the little beeps to be the sounds of birds and the lukewarm air blowing through the vent to be a warm breeze. Did all this happen because I left? No. Deeply uncomfortable right now. Listen, you look hot. And the fact that you usually dress like Seth Rogen, although you make it cute sometimes, like, it crushes my soul. And then, and oh my God, Rue, you would die for Anna. Who's Anna? She's just like next level. I don't know. And she just like grabbed me and sort of like pushed me down and like kissed me. Did it like feel good? Yeah, it felt amazing. I don't think so. See, I'm confused about that part because when Rue kissed her, she was acting like it was the end of the world. Like she was just like, I mean, maybe she didn't catch the vibe because that was her friend at first. You know, and she didn't, I guess, know she was into her. So it probably, you know, knocked her off guard. But, hey. Hey. But you like it. I liked it. You look beautiful. Thanks. Me too. Me? She cray cray. They asked me to write a letter about what your addiction has cost us as a family. 
holding you in my arms for the first time, looking down at you, your sweet, beautiful face, some omniscient narrator who said, here's what's going to happen. We were waiting for you to leave so we could get into the hard stuff. <laughs> Attic and make friends easily. Oh, you guys look so cute. She'll be kind and sensitive to understand what's going on inside of her head. The night terrors that can't be interrupted till she hyperventilates. Do you have a, a date? Mm -hmm. No. The fight to hold her in your arms, to calm down, the kicking, the screaming, the anxiety of being harmed. Yeah, you always want the best for your kids. When you have kids, you want them to be better than you, you know? It's just like they have to live their life too and they gotta make their choices and mistakes too and they got to live and learn too. But it's just like, man, if I could save you from everything in this life, I would. If I could, you know, so much you want for your kids. Of being alone. I really like her. The panic attacks, mood swings. <laughs> Bill is helpless to help her as she does herself. Alcohol and a Gatorade. Actually understand what's happening. What he about to do? Cause he just prayed. If you kiss her left cheek before bed, you have to kiss her right cheek and her forehead, then her chin. And there will be moments of relief in her and in you. had like this overwhelming anxiety that something bad would happen. In all fairness, last summer there were like three weeks where I thought she were dead. Okay, but she's been sober for like three months. Weren't you in rehab like six months ago? Credit. After this, it's just bad jobs and bills and bad husbands. Second of all, ew. I was wondering how she was gonna react. I'm horny. Nate, this isn't something you just like lie about. I just got a lot of shit on my mind. Yeah, and you can't keep your dick hard. Maybe the reason I can't keep my dick hard is because everyone at school was spreading these fucking rumors about me. Really? What is the context? I tell you, but I don't even fucking trust you anymore. Really? Kind of like how you fuck me, but you're not hard anymore. <laughs> keep talking. Come on, keep fucking talking. Nate needs help on his anger. Like, he literally, he needs a chill pill, calm down, all in one. Like, he just yoked her up by the neck. What the fuck are you It's not like about? anyone's 100% straight or 100% gay. Oh, that is 100% bullshit. But I do want to protect him, and what I know is this relationship you two have is not sustainable. And it's only a matter of time before it takes them both of you down. Your whole family is so fucking weird. She don't hold nothing back. Game of his high school career unless he can bring home the W and get this struggling team to reach. Speaking of struggle. Oh. Maddie, don't do it. Um. The next person better think about what happened to oh boy that was in the pool with Maddie. Mm, I still can't believe that situation either. you kiss me because last time she did you looked at her crazy um i mean do you want me to like kiss kiss you i want you to want to kiss me so bad that you don't even ask oh let's dance see i feel like jules playing my games i feel like jules playing my games i understand like you know 
she's starting to explore more, but. Yeah, and that's hard for Rue to be by that alcohol. That's very hard, because you know she's tempted. Although you know she do drugs. Alcohol is still, she's still tempted. Go get your man. Get him, girl. Hey. Um, can I talk to you for a second? Um, yeah. Do you really want to be like me? Hey, I definitely feel like if I was like in the high school, I would definitely be with Jules and uh, Rue. Definitely would be my clique. <laughs> and I, at the carnival when you were flirting with that girl, I just, I don't know, I just had like this reaction and I just like hated you. Whether that's fair or not, I don't know. I, you know, I mean like, is one of us gonna get hurt? Yeah, probably. But I'll do my best to make sure that it's me. Mm. Yeah, that's what Kate needs. That's what she needs. Him. Someone that's gentle and is going to be patient with her. Mm-hmm. They both mad at each other. Ooh. Any history with drugs or alcohol? No, not really. Any family history with addiction, alcohol, other substances? Yeah. My mom with wine, and then my dad with painkillers, and then heroin and stuff. How do you feel about being here today? Do you have any reservations about the procedure? Any Come with me. So... She's not having her baby? She's not having her baby. She is not having her baby. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Deep breath, y'all. Deep breath. Oh. Nate is bad, bad tonight. You know, sometimes when you do illegal shit, bad things happen to you. Really? You've never done anything illegal, Nate. You talking about your friend Jules? No, actually, I'm talking about your dad. Ooh. Also, I wouldn't want you to say something you might regret. Me and you gonna ruin my life? I fucking promise you I can do that a lot better than you can. Wow. Fucking into any police station and telling them that Nate Jacobs' daddy likes to fuck little kids. Damn, so she is confronting Nate. She is confronting Nate. About the daddy, the daddy and Jules. Oh. Are you sure that Jules told you everything? Mm. Damn. Lost control of the team. And in the long run, if you don't lead, you're going to lose. Ooh. I said take a step back. He tested that. Fuck you. You had enough? Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Realizing my son's messed up, messed up like me. I mean, you really want to be sad for Nate. I mean, cause he still is human. He still has a heart. Well, somewhat, but it's just like, oh, he needs help. The dad knows that though. He knows that now, if he didn't know. She knows now. So she found that in Nate's book, but you remember Nate 
Mm. Nathan been in his daddy drawer. So now she she keep finding out stuff about that family. Lord Jesus. And then Rude and confronted Nate. I fucking hate this town. Jules, are you in love with Anna? Yeah. Are you in love with me? Yeah. This will help with the discomfort. In love with both of them? My body is a cave. My body is a cave. Fucking left this dance. We went home, grabbed a bunch of shit, just went to the city. What if we just fucking left? <laughs> That's fucking crazy. My body is a I ain't gonna hurt you. But if you fuck around, I swear to God, I'll fucking kill you. But does she really feel better? Or is she just numb to the pain now? She just numb to the struggles and the choices and the pain. Dance with me, please. You don't even know how to dance. It's a fucking slow song. Let's go. Get up. Trust that you're despicable. Fine. I hate you. I know. It's not good for us. Find nothing though. Ain't got shit on me. He did get right it. Cause of Nate. So we all good? What? Here you go. Deck seven, departing in two minutes. You can get medication like everywhere. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's, you know, I can, I can like miss a day, you know? Wake up in the fucking morning, she's gonna think I'm missing. Kick again. We're good. Come on. She's not ready. Mm. She's not ready. Mm. You'll find yourself praying they last forever. Even though she's only a child. And all the hard parts have yet to even come. But when she wakes up, she'll be given the opportunity to get clean. Say or do or wish, the decision will be all hers. I've been so many places in my life and time. I've acted out my life in stages. Do you. Hey, can't you see through me? She was doing so good. Now we back at square one. The pain. We become numb to the pain. I don't feel like we heal. I just feel like people become numb to the pain. That's why I feel like I 
I could never judge no one. It showed from at the beginning as her baby. It showed where she started the drugs from her dad, you know, being sick and... And now, the, the outro though with the whole, damn, they went all out. This is freeing yourself. This is being free after you hit, get that hit. The high only lasts for so long, but you know, when you hit that hit, it's like, hey, I'm free again. I can let all this pain out, you know, not worry about it for the moment. And it's just like, I'm free again. My spirit is out of my body for the moment. Mm, she gonna regret, she gonna regret that line. Wait, this is the last episode of Euphoria, you guys. We ready for season two? Let me know down in the comments, you guys, of course. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about episode eight. Definitely feel like this was a banger outro. Definitely feel like this was a um, banger um Last episode too, I wanted more drama though. I wanted more action, but it's all cool because they young, we live in, they young, they live in, they learning, and man, season two is going to be crucial. Uh, but of course, you guys give me your opinions down below. We're gonna keep exploring Euphoria. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna do the recap every season I get done with so you will see a recap so you will see a recap video of how I felt about season one the whole season one of Euphoria